I'm building uh, wishy washy. Wishy washy. You, have you seen this one? Schooling shot does 30 more for each basic energy attached, and if it has three or more water energy attached, it gets 150 extra HP. I had a lot of fun playing this one before rotation. We'll, I guess we'll see how it goes after. We're gonna go the full four on the snom. So air balloon is probably what we want to see for the deck. So of course the deck needs boss. We'll put three of those in. You know, this deck could use Inteleon as well. That, that's heaps of Pokemon now. That's so many. All right, we'll go Capacious Bucket. That's a good card for this deck. Maybe like one copycat. We can try that out. It is a level ball deck for sure. Most definitely a level ball deck. Yeah, we can we can play Marnie. I don't know about playing Cape of Toughness. I don't know if I care about the extra HP. I just want it to be enough that it's kind of hard to knock out, but it doesn't have to be super duper OP, if that makes sense. It's definitely a Nessa deck, but how many you put in, I'm not sure. Oh, you can play it with Altaria, right? Instead of the Inteleons. Got six of them for some reason. Swablu, right? Let's chuck it in. That can be good. That could be really good, actually. Let's try it like this, and we'll get rid of this stuff. And then you go Oranguru, right? Put like two of these in. And then you you can just like Nessa every turn, which can be like, you know, super rude. Well, it's a good pal pad deck. Hey, put one in. Uh, research, of course. We need research. She's a good lady. Quick ball. Do we put quick ball on this deck? Uh, rescue carry is interesting. We can chuck one in. All right, so we, now we need to make room in the deck, how do you make room? You gotta start cutting, right? Let's cut like an air balloon. We'll cut copycat. Let's cut one money. Cut an ordinary rod. Cut two, actually. Let's cut the retrievals. Cut a skate rope. We don't need two capacious buckets. So now we've got nine spots for energy. Let's go down to like two money. So that's like 11 energy there. That's pretty good, hey? Has to be basic. So 11 energy, we've got power pad there, two air balloon. Possibly don't need all that, all those quick balls, right? Maybe just like minus one and go 12 energy. That looks all right, don't you think? We'll save it for now anyway. So our wishy-washy deck is complete with that trade. I don't know if this is going to be good or not, but we're going to try. Let's open Snom here. I think I want a Rangaroo because I want to filter through my deck a bit faster. I want to keep the level ball for Frostmoth. So I think we're going to sack a Wishy Washy here. All right, big turn incoming. Here we go, level ball. And we're going to take Frostmoth. We're going to put all the energy on Wishy Washy and then research. So let's um, Primate there. That's good. Swablu down. We're going to retain the other energy. It doesn't really behoove us to put it down. So we'll schooling shot here. Okay, so this way, if Wishy Washy gets knocked out, I can Nessa for all the energy again and hit for like a fairly significant amount of damage. So, so I think here we just Nessa for four energy. There's number four. Next turn, if my opponent, if my opponent attacks with Rayquaza, I just Nessa and win. Oh no, Rayquaza, you lose. We did it. Okay, let's GG. 170 HP. You have a good deck too, my friend. Wishy-washy, my friends. It's good, huh? How do you make it better, though? I wonder. I kind of want to fit more water energy, but I don't know how. I almost don't need money. Let's go that one for disruption, right? Almost want this in Chino, dude. So instead of the Orangaroo, let's just cut it. It's the cheeky, cheeky cut. All right, and we just go one, one. So one, one here seems not good but trust me it is but it would be good if i could fit like an extra one one oh, i could cut one snom right and then and then go like this and then you've got the variety pack now what do you think of that is that like 
too weird. I feel like cutting the two and putting two Marnie back in is is like really good though. We're in trouble. Alright. Oh okay. Alright. I think I lose. Yeah, it's not it's not good enough to, to not be getting a KO this turn. Yeah, it's GG. Well, Palpad would have been alright if I got it earlier. Let's go. Let's get rid of these. And let's go. Goss. And now, now I've got a call for family Goss. And then we can go call for family Snom as well. Just trying to split. And then we want Goss. I feel like, you feel like I shouldn't have it? Why not? I can grab all the energy out of the deck. And I can get rid of Bucket. Make room for Nessa. Kalara. Oh, you can do both with Clara. So like if they if they take a turn right where they uh, knock out like an Altaria or an Elder Goss, you could play Clara instead of Nessa. Although we don't really care if these get knocked out, right? So Nessa is probably it. More energy would be good, right? Maybe I maybe I can cut balloon by one. I can probably cut the quick balls now too. I'm barely getting a, a chance to use boss's orders, and we've got we've got pal pad anyway, just in case. So what if we made this like this many energy? What if we went 16? Do you think this is good enough? Do you like this? The extra energy is crazy, and then Elder Goss lets us hit it like really, really well. And now you've got four Pokemon in the deck that have Call for Family. I think this is good. Cut one Frost Moth. I'm gonna make it one Quick Ball. Well, that was very cool. Okay, this isn't going to get the KO. F. Now, how does coding energy work? It's no weakness, right? 120? Okay, they gave up. I was taking too long for their liking. Well, you know, we live in a world where we're constantly telling each other to like get out there and get that bread and and all that sort of thing right we don't really think about actually just oh, i should have led with snom maybe i should have led with snom yeah maybe i'd much rather get the other call for family pokemon though that i have in this deck um gossifer if i can Put this on top. Ooh, quick ball. Yes. This works out. Um bought a couple of built a couple of budget decks. That's nice. I'm glad to hear it. Um So I'll call for family here. Now I can't overbench, right? The thing that's most important to me here is a second snom. And it's gotta be a wishy washy. I can't put another gossiper down as much as I'd like to. That's the problem with running all these stage ones. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, like, we, we put a lot of emphasis on getting that bread, you know, seize the day, all that sort of thing, but sometimes you just need time off, too. You need to, like, rejuvenate, you need to, like, reset, you know what I mean? So there's nothing wrong with wanting to take it easy on any, on any given day. Because if we work ourselves to the bone too hard, then... You know, the, the outcome can be worse. So here... Evolve to Altaria. Um, so we'll use Altaria to grab... Research. If you're on top. 
And then we can use Oranguru to put the Nessa back on top. Right? Now, Incense. We'll grab Frostmoth. Yeah. Evolve. Like that. Level Ball. We'll grab Elder Goss. Right? On top. Research. We lose a wishy washy, which is a little a little unfortunate. Now in this situation, I'm not gonna level ball for the second frost moth because I want to make sure that I can get the wishy washy if I need to. Here, cotton lift, grab two. And see this way we don't whiff the attack. That's why Elder Goss is actually pretty good. Retreat. Schooling shot. Puts the pressure on now. Now my opponent needs to deal with the Wishy Washy. And Zamazenta's Assault Tackle is not enough to knock me out. What decks did you build? Colroy. Sable and Pikachu V. I've seen that you can make Pikachu V Max work now. That's pretty cool. I think we just knock out what's in front of us here. I'm going to Cotton Lift, just to put that cards in hand. It's good to get the value there, like every turn if you can. Let's Primate Wisdom, put a Snom on top, just in case. Ness is good. Um, we'll Tempting Tune here, and we'll just put Bruno on top. Just in case our opponent Marnies us, we can be sure that we'll, we'll draw something good. Altari is like the anti Marnie in a lot of different ways. His hand's good. We can build a 7 energy Wishy Washy, which will knock out Zashin, I'm pretty sure. 3 7s. Yeah, so that'd be 3 8s. This will be exciting. Mm hmm. Mmm, cheeky. Cheeky. So we're going to Bruno here. Okay, last chance. Dang. Almost need one bird keeper in the deck for for this like really odd situation. I didn't expect so most of the time you don't expect an opponent to stall on you. Um they're gonna wanna take it like knockouts every turn. Yeah, here we go. We can just use an essay here. So, 8-3 is 24, so that'll be a knockout there. Um, mm 
Mm, the other Frostmaster's prize, but they don't need to know that. Grab more energy out. You want to do single strike? So what is that single strike? Um, uh, what single strike are you talking about? Um, single strike Urshifu with Umbreon? Literally just dismantling this Zashian deck. Taking it to school. Schooling with Wishy Washy. That's what the YouTube video would be called. Got him. Got him. What would win? Legendary. Legendary Pokemon or Little Fish? Eldegoss is amazing. So this is it. Wishy Washy is the star. You need the energy on it, and it becomes a 180 HP Pokemon, which is pretty epic for a basic. And it's got an attack that scales for the amount of water energy attached to it, right? Or energy. It doesn't have to be water. Something to keep in mind with Wishy Washy is that this attack only works with basic energy. So you can't use the Rapid Strike energy to uh, boost the power of schooling shot. And then we've got, you know, three two frost moth, which I'm not I'm not entirely convinced that this is the way to go personally. I like seeing more of this in the deck. But these two lines of Pokemon have also proven themselves as well. Eldegoss has been amazing with Cotton Whiff. And Altaria, tempting tune, is so nice. Being able to put supporters on top and then Oranguru letting you draw that supporter out. What becomes difficult is that you need all six bench spots. Uh, so you want one Elder Goss, one Altaria, one Oranguru, two Frostmoth, and a Wishy Washy. That's pretty much what your board looks like. And then the, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. What we found with Nessa was that it was very necessary to, to be at a max count. And we even run the Power Pad to get more back. Power Pad is also how we reason to only run two bosses orders as well. We just lose. Dude, we just lose. GG, well played. Oops. Whoops. I've never done that before. That's really funny. Oh, well. One for three. I think that was a worthwhile trade. Because I, I, I paid the retreat cost. It took the energy off. Which meant it went back down to 30 HP. So it just got knocked out. I'm asking for two Gardevoir, two Curlier, and two uh, Routes for a pack. One of them filled, so I've already got half of what I need. Um, somebody out there will want it for one pack. You don't have to take that trade. It's not necessarily like a very profitable trade, so. It's a bit stingy what I'm asking for, so. Try and angle this microphone so it doesn't um, get deleted by VCAM. How's that sound? Do I sound okay? Is it picking up my voice enough? Alright, we got Air Balloon here, so that's good. We can level ball for Gossifer and set up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, we got Bronzong. I think there is room for a Bronzong deck to to make waves. And I am a fan of Bronzong, for sure. We've got an entire... Oh, not an entire line. We've got a Gossifer prize. Just a little unfortunate. But I also don't think that our opponent is um, knocking out Gossifer next turn. Maybe. You can't can't forget that Bronzong can make things happen as well. So here we'll call for family. We need Altaria and Orangaroo for sure. And then we need a Snom. 
grab this one just in case it gets cached for whatever reason. Like, bossed. Yeah, this is this is all right. I'm so imp impressed with Gossifler. It's been such a Gossifler and Elder Goss have been such a standout um, evolution line for me. Now, if my opponent retreats into Corviknight and uses Clutch to stop Gossifler, we just evolve, and that lets us retreat. We can use clutch. Which is not enough. So next turn, we evolve to Altar Altaria. Cheeky. That works too. We don't mind this so much. It's a very efficient knockout for them. But we don't care. It's alright. She'll be right. Whenever it senses danger, it just starts crying. And then that makes the other wishy-washy appear. That's funny. Um, We'll put our... Swablu. Because we're going to retreat it. So, Incense. Grabs Altaria. Evolve. 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 Energy there. Oh, sorry. Balloon there. If I put that down, I could... I could... Uh, mess things up. Tempting tune. Grab research. We definitely want to use research over Bruno here. There's no advantage. Primate Wisdom. Yeah, I'm glad I caught myself there. And then we'll research. Because you need a card in hand for, ins for for Primate Wisdom. No energy, though. That is a real shame. That actually sucks. For all the energy that we have in the deck. We have, like, 15 energy in this deck. And we didn't draw one. Or for research. That was actually... Unlucky. Well, at least we get to attack this turn. Um, I'm gonna quick ball. For a snom. Just to shore up our access to Frostmoth if we need it. And at least we're doing some damage. Okay, it's not much, but... It would have been ideal to do about 150, because you really want a two-shot um, V-Maxes. You don't have to extend for a one-shot, and it's pretty much impossible against a V-Max. This is annoying though, because for a second turn in a row, they don't have to commit energy to the core of a knight to get a KO. They only need the one. If they want to heal the core of a knight though, presumably with Cheryl, they would need to evolve it. So, thereby losing access to clutch. Hmm. Interesting dilemma. I definitely want to become famous, but not that way. So we're going to see some energy come out, maybe? Ah, Crystal Cave. That old chestnut. No attack. Fine by me. So 
So I think this will be energy to the active, like this. Evolve. And then we'll research here. Definitely just want to dig further into the deck. Here's all those cards we were looking for before. Let's um, Primate Wisdom. Power Pad. That's good. I'm attempting to... No. Nessa. Although that means that I can't Cotton Lift now. I think that's okay. I don't want too many energy in hand. Don't need it. Maybe it would have been good. So, 240, so... 8 threes are 24, so it needs 7 energy. Alright, they're using Cheryl anyway. Didn't want to risk it. I definitely could have um, put that damage together. We're going to do our best to knock out the station. Because we really want to catch up on prizes. I notice no, no bronze on yet. So another line of play is to knock out the, the bronze ore. I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. Let's just knock out the thing in front of us. Cotton Lift doing some work here. Let's put Boss on top. Just to make them think twice. So, I need to do 240 damage to the Zation. So that means... So, 8-3 is 24. We need 7 energy. This also takes uh, their energy off the board too, which is quite nice. Okay. So they've got a bit of work to do. If they want to establish the energy that they need again. They've got to get some work done. The versatility of having Bronzong in the deck means that they can do it. It is definitely within the realm of possibility. Eldegoss plus Nessa is so deadly. We have access to potentially 7 energy again next turn. And if my opponent doesn't get the knockout, I'm just going to boss this thing. Take their energy off the board again. You better hope you get that bronze on. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Altaria active. Okay. I'm going to incense first. Just to use it up. We're going to check. Okay, we have enough energy. So let's do it. Let's go cotton lift. 
Um, 21. So I only need 6 energy for this to work as well. Let's put the Nessas back in. That 20, uh, 210 HP is a really good uh, HP breakpoint for us. Put Nessa on top. We don't even need to grab it. Actually, we can hide the boss on top just in case. So now we've uh, overtaken our opponent in the prize trade. Getting another energy there means that we hit 100, uh, 210 again potentially next turn. So we already have a wishy-washy in hand. We know that there's more energy left to get with Cotton Lift. And Nessa grabs 4 energy if we need it. So we're looking good. We're in good shape. Our opponent has no energy on board so it would have to be... A double metal saucer turn and bronze on. Or some other like ridiculous combo of cards. It's not it's not looking good for them. It's not looking good for them. So, Marnie, that's why we hid the boss on top. Not that it matters much, because we have a Ranguru Altaria to get whatever we want anyway. Would have been nice to draw an energy out, but not, not entirely necessary. It's not going to be good enough. We just win next turn. Crobat, maybe? I am a big fan of this deck. Massive fan of Corviknight. Um, but it's looking pretty rough for them at the moment. Yeah, second Crobat. Uh oh. GG. How do you like that? How do you like that?